What a dude, YouTube! Welcome back to another video, guys. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be going over the next episode or installment of our Pack a Punch review. Guys, today's gun is gonna be the BRM, also known as the Blight Oblivion, when it gets Pack a Punch. And as you all know, this thing is a monster, just like pretty much any other LMG. Uh, you know, zombies has always been like this. It's always, you know, if you're camping or something like that, you're gonna want a pack punch LMG. They're just so strong, so powerful, and just so much ridiculous amounts of ammo. When you pack punch this gun, you get 100 clip magazine and 700 backup. So that is a crazy amount. That's really, really good. Especially on the giant for Captain the Can't Walk, which as you can see in the background is uh, what kind of gameplay I'm going to be having for you guys today. But uh, yeah, the uh, BRM is crazy, crazy insane damage uh, as well as the ammo magazine is just ridiculously absurd. Like, you know, I'm trying to think back in Black Ops 1, I know the, uh, uh, the H2K or whatever, or the H... I want to say HVK, but I know that's not right. Anyway, the HK-21, that's what it was. Uh, I know that was, like, the best gun, and I don't think it had nearly as much ammo as this one does. But anyway, yeah, this gun is insanely strong, um, insane amounts of ammo. It does have a few weaknesses, though, and that's going to be its movement speed, uh, which is obviously very, very important when you're playing zombies. You know, if you're trying to train or you're just trying to get out of somewhere, you got in a tight situation, you need to run away, you know, you're red screen, you're trying to get the F out of there. And you just can't because uh, you, you have an LMG, which obviously you could switch to your secondary weapon. But, uh, you know, you still want your LMG to be moving fast just in case you're panicked and you don't think to switch and you just take off running, you know. So, I am going to give this one a 4 out of 5 stars or a 8 out of 10. Um, definitely. You know, it's just like any normal LMG, you know, it's crazy amounts of ammo, crazy amounts of damage, and uh, in the gameplay here, I'm heading back to the catwalk, so you guys will be able to see just just how min how much damage this thing does and how quickly it kills, as well as if you slap turned on one of these LMGs, like, you could literally go to infinite rounds with these LMGs just for the simple fact that you have turned on it and there's so much ammo, you have so many turn activates before it runs out of ammo, you know, it's just kind of ridiculous. But as you guys can see here in the background gameplay, the BRM is just absolutely melting these zombies as they come up to the catwalk. And keep in mind, guys, this is four-player difficulty. We're on round 28, and we're, you know, I'm pretty much the only one watching the front. They're all trying to hit the box back there on the fire sale. And, you know, as you can see, this gun is just absolutely tearing through them. Just to show that it's a ridiculous amount of damage, as well as with that much ammo, you know, you can sit up here so long. But uh, I don't want to keep rambling on about this one, guys. It's definitely a 4, four out of 5 stars and an 8 out of 10 on the 10-point scale. Uh, for the Giant, though, the Giant, it's definitely going to be a 5 out of 5, I would say. And then as far as on Shadows of Evil, it's probably going to be a 3 out of 5. That's why I averaged it out. Just for the simple fact that on the Giant, uh, a lot of the strategies are camping. As you can see, Camping Catwalk is probably literally the most popular one. On Shadows of Evil, however... Uh, I haven't really found that great of a camping spot, you know, the train car, eh, I mean, it's not that good. Uh, which, you know, in Shadows of Evil, it's a very train-heavy, running around, uh, style map. And, you know, for when you get your big train pulled up and you get a straight stretch and you just want to shoot, trust me, this thing will absolutely destroy your whole train. However, though, on Shadows of Evil, you just want to be able to run around as hard as you can, just for the simple fact that there are no camping spots, like I previously said. And uh, you got all these rituals to do and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, you know, you want to make sure that you have a lightweight weapon. So this LMG is definitely going to slow you down. Definitely probably cause you a few downs just for the simple fact that you can't train as well. But as far as on the Giant, though, it is an absolute powerhouse. will definitely, definitely get you to the high rounds. And I would 100% recommend it on the Giant. Now, as far as Shadows of Evil... Um, I'm not going to say don't get this weapon out of the box because you definitely, definitely should. You know, even if you don't want to keep it for a long time for your high rounds, this thing will definitely rack up you some points. As you can see in the gameplay, I have 20,000 points. And I've been using this, like, way before I even started recording. And, you know, this this gun has been absolutely melting. And it's getting me all kinds of points. And as you guys can see, I'm about to go down with this weapon. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, sorry if I sounded a little bit weird or not as enthusiastic, but uh, my throat's been kind of hurting me lately, so uh, no, 
here we go with the suck dick comments in the uh, comment section. But anyway, guys, speaking about the comment section, please go down to the comment section below. Let me know what gun you guys want to see me do next. And uh, yeah, not sure what day I'll have the next pack match review out. I would say probably Wednesday. I think tomorrow I'm going to upload a Overwatch video or a Kingdom Hearts 3 video. So make sure you subscribe for that. Make sure you subscribe for more Black Ops 3 and all kinds of good gaming entertainment. And uh, I'll quit rambling. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.